you're watching this video, thank you for returning to my channel um, and doing this with me again, another one. Um, yeah, so I was going to record a video on love languages. However, I'm not feeling that right now. So instead, we're going to do this video about what's in my head, basically. We're just going to talk. We're just going to chat chit chat chit chat and joining us today in this video is this soft red blend that i picked up from the store menage toi i think i'm saying it right menage toi um <laughs> yeah so this is yeah we're just gonna do it and we're gonna talk and we're going to vibe and yeah i'm not really a wine drinker but today I was craving a uh, red wine for some reason, so I'm gonna do it. And it's 3.16 in the afternoon, but don't mind my business, right? Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Um, Yeah, don't. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to open it now. And then, yeah, I'm gonna tell you what's in my head today. It's a scam. Why did they come out? Oh no, don't do that. Don't do that. Before we fully get into the video, I'm sorry for any background noise that you may hear. For some reason, I don't know. I don't know what everybody's doing. Everybody's doing something right now, I guess. Um. If you don't drink ice with your wine, then what are you really doing? I'm not sure. And I know a lot of people will be like, ooh, ooh, you're not supposed to drink wine with ice. Du, 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 du. I'm a grown woman. I'm going to do what I want in this lifetime. And we're going to pull her up. Yo, something about the smell of wine is really starting to get me in my old ages. That get y'all. They have a buzz. Okay, so today I was driving, right? And in my head, I was thinking about like just like experiences or whatever. And if you're anything like me, you've had kind of like um the same. All right, maybe not anything like me. Maybe I should just speak for myself. But I just want to say that okay you know what no sugar coating i'm not gonna sugar coat it if you're anything like me you've had the same experience with multiple different men or partners or whatever you want to call it whatever you want to call them i call them boys still see them them little boy there you've had the same experience with the the young men in your life or whatever whether your partner or whoever's in your life really you've had the same experience right and so then i started to think about how us as people attract low vibrational low vibration people in our life so i'm talking about this from a romance standpoint so um how do i say it I just guess, I guess I've been attracting low vibration men into my life for like a while now, for a couple of years now, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Mm. Yeah. And if the low vibration were attract, when you attract a low vibrational person, it's because you continue to do the same thing expecting the same results which is kind of crazy now that i say it out loud because why am i doing that like why like why is that even necessary in my life you know um so i guess like i'm saying all of this to say that <laughs> why am i saying this again 
What I was talking about? Oh, yeah. Low vibration people in general. Not even just men, but people. Me, personally, in my life, it's men. It's the men that I attract, actually, that are so very much low vibration. All my friends, high vibration. Um, yeah, and so it's, it's death, the men for me. Um, yeah. I'm saying all this to say stop. Moral story. Stop doing it. Stop doing the same things and expecting the same outcome. It's really, 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 really crazy that we do that. And how we can stop doing that is by taking a step back after an experience that has us lost for words. Usually, you recognize that there's a low vibration person in your life because you have an experience. And then it's like, Wait a minute, did that really just happen like that? In that way? Are you that serious? All right, so yeah, let's take a step back and let's think on and reflect on our behaviors and the behaviors that we are willing to accept in our life and the behaviors that we are not willing to accept in our life. You know what I'm saying? Let's just like let's make a list y'all know i like to journal so like let's write it down in our journals so that we can always refer back to it in case someone comes around and they happen you happen to see the red flags yeah the red flags that we always ignore always ignore let us just like reflect and then once we see the red flags, let's start treating people the way they're treating us. You know what I'm saying? Like, like no. Like, why are we not accepting higher as higher beings and people with higher purposes and people who are trying to elevate? Why are we allowing people to drag us down? Not in this economy. Mm -mm. COVID day Mm-mm. 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 I don't think we should accept this in this economy. Um, I feel like allowing low vibration people to stay in your life just allows, how do I say it? It just allows people to leech on you, people to not treat you good, and then you're like shocked that you're being treated this way and you know that you don't deserve this treatment but it's because you allowed that person to stay in your life for so long girl no we're not allowing it anymore we're not allowing it we're not putting up with these things anymore um yeah so like if he can't show up for you the way you need him to show up for you then you need to tell him to go and I bet he'll start to reconsider. And if he don't, he not the one for you, right? Dang, that was a full rant. I'm not really sure where this video is going, but definitely hear what I'm saying. And like, let me know, has this happened to you before? Have you attracted a low vibration person into your life? And allow them to stay for more than the time frame that they should have been there like let me know let me know down here in the comments if this has ever happened to you oh but most importantly let me know how you removed that person from your life once you recognize that they were not vibrating at the same frequency as you right um yeah because I know it has to be a change of behavior I know I'm not there yet but once I figure it out, oh, once I figure it out, nobody's not gonna be able to talk to me unless I got a whole face. Stop attracting them here, low vibration people, yeah. Yeah, nobody. Um, on the topic of low vibration people and the things that you allow in your life, um, on that topic just like off the top like 
uh, branch off of that topic. Um, how about we start allowing people that pour love into us, that pour light into us, that pour positivity into us? Like, if you don't have those people in your life that you can depend on, I'm thankful that I have a great, a beautiful supporting family and a beautiful supporting friends that always pour love into me and so once I'm not getting it in a romantic partner I usually get it from somebody in my life and so if you don't have that in your life please seek seek shelter in someone you trust someone you love it doesn't have to be a romantic partner but like just seek it and once you start to operate differently in your life and showing up for yourself, I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet you'll start to attract people on the same vibration as you. I'm just, I'm gonna just learn from the mistakes that I've made in the past. Now that I'm getting older, I'm starting to see a little clearer. Third eye chakra, open up our them things there. Um yeah so yeah yeah the power of changing your mindset and positive thinking is so crazy that i really hope to bestow that onto you guys from this video um there's power in the tongue what you speak is what you'll become so that's how i'm gonna just speak the good things in part of my life like a couple caves to Paniam, a couple vacations per year. <sighs> my answer will speak about the man manifestation of the man. The man will not manifest. <laughs> Janua, the man there, the man there go heavenly. I want to come up here. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, So, like, just remember to speak positivity into your life. Whenever you something goes wrong, don't even meds it. Well, meds it a little bit, but turn, try to change it from a negative thing to a positive thing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's the video for today. Yeah, because. I now remember why I don't drink wine. It's because it just be really hitting the brain cell over here. I just don't want you still in the just don't want you. Some people drink wine. Some people drink Hennessy. The Hennessy is me, and I'm the Hennessy. The Hennessy not really not the brain yeah. It knocks someone else, and the wine it's a knock. Yeah, so I'm a can evil continue. I tell you how I'm gonna feel because yeah that was my thought for today guys um I hope this helps someone but don't know why them knives are necessary you hear them knives there them knives there just <sighs> anyway see you next time like comment subscribe share um let me know your experience with low vibration people, low vibration men, and just like just let me know. Let me know what you did to change your outcome basically.